to add a WhatsApp API Cloud account, the first thing we need to do is log in into our Corbell account. Once logged in, on the main screen, we can add our WhatsApp API Cloud account by clicking on this button. However, there is another way to do it. For that, we go to Settings, then click on Channels, and from this window, we can also add a WhatsApp API Cloud account. After clicking, we can add the account by selecting the Add Channel button. However, before continuing, I want to talk to you about two specific requirements you need to meet before adding this channel. The first requirement is a Meta Business Manager account with an associated payment method. If you don't know how to add a payments method to your Business Manager account, don't worry, because at the end of this video, I will show you how to do it. The second requirement is a phone number to associate with the WhatsApp API Cloud. Regarding the phone number to be associated with the API Cloud, it can be a mobile or landline number that can receive a confirmation code via call or text message and is not associated with any WhatsApp or WhatsApp business account at the time of activation. Likewise, in case you want to test this integration and don't have a number for verification, WhatsApp can provide you with a free trial number, which will be the visible number for your customers within WhatsApp once they send you a message. Continuing with the integration, to add a channel, we will click on the Add Channel button and proceed to add the name for our new channel. Remember, you can choose a name of your preference. In this case, I will name it WhatsApp API Cloud 2 and click on the button to connect your WhatsApp business account. Then, a pop-up will open asking us to log into our Facebook account. In this case, I have already logged in, so I will click on the Continue button. Now a window to connect your Allbell account will appear where we need to accept the permissions we will share with Allbell from our Facebook account. To do this, we just need to click on Start. Next, this window will appear where we will select the business portfolio or business manager account that we will use for the process. Click on Next. Now we will need to select a WhatsApp business account. In this case, I will choose the one I have here. However, if you do not have an account, you can also create it directly. Next, we will create or select a WhatsApp business profile. In this case, I will leave the button to create a new WhatsApp profile selected and click on Next. In this section, Meta will ask us to complete the information of our WhatsApp business account. An important piece of information to keep in mind is that in the second field, you must enter the display name of the WhatsApp account. The display name is the name of your business that appears on WhatsApp when a customer sends a message. After entering the name, we select the category of our business and click on Next. In the next section, Meta will ask us to add a phone number for WhatsApp. This is the number we will use for the API Cloud integration. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Meta also offers the possibility of obtaining a free WhatsApp number that does not need verification in case you do not have your own number. And this is the method we will follow in this video. Remember that if you use your own number, the steps are the same, but with the difference that Meta will ask for the code sent to your number to verify it's yours. But before proceeding, I want to clarify that it is possible to use a number that is already in use on WhatsApp for the WhatsApp Cloud APIs. However, before proceeding, we must first delete the WhatsApp account currently in use before starting the procedure. Remember that once the account is deleted, it will not be possible to recover the chat history or the information present in the account. Second, once the transition from a traditional WhatsApp account to a WhatsApp API cloud line is made, it will not be possible to use the account in question with the native WhatsApp interface. In this case, you will need to use the Colbell web and mobile interface to manage your WhatsApp accounts. Having this clear, the next thing we will do is select a verification method in case you choose the option of your own phone number. Instead, you choose the option of the free number, simply click Next. Click Continue and select Finish. Now, to finish integrating WhatsApp API Cloud in our Colbell window, we must click in Connect. And as you can see, we will have completed the process of integrating our WhatsApp API Cloud account. 